In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make your ebook interactive by making it flip. This is a really cool way to make it interactive, get more engagements, add more traffic, and also get more conversions for the product that you might be promoting on your ebook. So not only can you flip it like this, but you can also add call to action buttons, videos, and so much more. So what we're going to do first is to download an ebook. Okay, so if you don't have an ebook ready, you can actually download ebooks using free ebook platforms okay such as plr so plr are private label rights these are platforms where you can get free ebooks okay for all categories all genres so this particular one is free plr downloads.com okay now on your left hand side of where you can see different categories you can use any of these as you can see they have internet marketing health farming fitness email marketing drop shipping they have all kinds of categories here now you can also find ebooks on platforms such as canva so canva can give you lots of ebooks they have all kinds of templates so if you go over here and just search ebook now what you want is ebook multiple pages okay so you're going to click on this here and here you'll see all kinds of templates they have all kinds of templates now there's not really categorized but you can actually search for a certain category now some of them have multiple pages some of them have just a single page now the one i'm looking for is a multi-page okay so let's go back up over here there is this one here which is how to start an online business this one has 22 pages so we can just open this one here okay and Danny is going to show you the examples you know samples of the pages rather okay so it's mainly a black and white ebook with some of the pages having some you know some color so i'm just going to go and use this one i'll click on customize this template all right so again as you can see we have the ebook here now maybe you want to change some things here before you actually download this ebook okay let me just zoom in quickly here so you want to change things like maybe you want to remove some names over here you want to remove these names so what i'll do i'll just remove some of these names maybe i'll just leave this link here i can actually even add my own website here all right so the title is how to start an online business that's cool um step-by-step -step guide okay the author here can enter my name okay and then the rest of these you can go ahead and customize so this is just a dummy text so it says here hello i am bridget so i can change this to my name here again okay and then you can go ahead and add more content here you can use chat gpt actually to get content about you know content on how to start an online business <laughs> all right so you have three reasons why you should start an online business so all this is just dummy text okay you can again you can use chat gpt or writer to get for you or to write for your content which you're going to add on to this book okay so i'm not going to delve into that a lot because i just want to show you how you can convert this into an ebook using an ai tool okay so what we're going to do first is to download this just click on share over here and then we're just going to click on download and we're going to download it as a pdf okay so make sure it's a pdf because it just makes sense because this is an ebook uh, all ebooks are pdfs and make sure all pages have been selected okay so make sure this is 22 if you want to select all your pages you can just go ahead and click on all pages here okay select all that and just click on download all right so now once our ebook has been downloaded we're going to go over to this website this is called flippingbook.com this is a tool that will allow us to actually convert our ebook into a flip book okay so what you're going to do is click on try for free here now also link it down in the description but the url is just flippingbook.com so what you want to do is click on upload a pdf and we're going to upload our ebook the one that you've just downloaded from canva click on open all right so here we have our ebook saying 22 pages so all the ebooks that you will upload here on flipbooks will all appear over here okay so these are the features you can customize you can share you can embed okay so if you embed it on your website like what i did over here it's going to look something like this okay so this is an ebook that i've embedded on my website okay so you can also view stats that's another feature about this platform it can allow you to view stats of your ebook and then you also have more here which you can do things like edit replace the pdf download you can move it to a folder make a copy save settings as default rename or delete okay now what you want to do is to customize so you're going to click on customize here but if you're opening flipbook for the first time you'll be taken to this page directly okay so you'll be, you'll be taken to that previous page all right so this is how it looks like as you can see now it has this animation here indicating that it's actually a flipbook so if, we, if they click on this here it's going to make that animation and make that sound okay so just like this 
okay all right pretty cool huh so that is how you can actually make it interactive now at the top over here as you can see you have your number of pages so this is page six and nine and in total is 22 pages okay so if you want to go to the first page you can just highlight that click on number one and click on enter which will take you to number one or just whatever page you want to be taken to okay now on your left hand side over here you have your settings first you have your title and description you can change the title and description which is up over here okay you can go ahead and change it so maybe if you want to use this title here of how to start an online business you can actually copy this okay i'll just copy that text and i'll just paste it over there okay so your yeah, description is also the same thing now you also want to go and change this because if you highlight this as you can see it says your viewers see the description when you share the flip book with them on social media via messengers okay so make sure you change this so you can just give it a description you can just say maybe um, this guide will show you how to start an online business okay so just something like that and then once you're done that you can close that next you have skin you can select different types of skin now this is another amazing feature about this tool so the skin if you if you close this as you can see the skin is just the background here this white box section okay so as you can see it's just plain so if you click on this you can select different types of skin okay so you have that that is how it looks like you have carbon you have black carbon okay now the ones i like the most are these ones you have the industries so if you uh, if you select manufacturing one okay and you click on okay that is how it's going to look like okay so they have different types of skins you can select all kinds of skins here they have colors and textures they have office lifestyle uh, special occasions wallpapers floral wooden all types okay so i'll just leave mine like this and next we have branding okay so if you click on branding there are other features there is logo okay you can actually change the logo if you have a logo that you want to use you can go ahead and upload it here so i actually have a logo so what i'll do i'll remove this one here made with flipping book i'll remove this and i will place my logo all right and my logo will appear down at the bottom right over here now i think it's too big but i'll just see how it looks like at the end and then down over here you have your web address url here is where you can place your website url so i'm just going to place my website which is robertkeller.com and click on ok all right so next you have your background image you can also change that if you click on this now this is going to allow you to change a custom image okay if you want uh, an image maybe from your computer you can go ahead and select okay you can upload it from your computer and you'll have the background changed to that image okay so i'll just leave mine at this i think i like it like this next we have color palette okay if we click on this so this will allow you to change things like panels at the top over here so for example this one here if i can just move this along as you can see it changes this panel at the top over here you can also change background okay you can do the same thing so that's going to change this section here uh, link highlights you can also go ahead and do that okay let me change it to another color okay so this is just for links so i'll just have it as green okay i love my links as green so i'll just leave everything else like that and click on okay okay and next we have five icon so five icon is just the icon that appears this icon that appears at the top over here okay this is the five icon so you can go ahead and change that i'll think i'll just leave it i don't need to change it and lastly under branding we have call to action so this is really cool because if you enable this you can actually have a call to action but it won't appear uh, it won't appear on the ebook it'll appear at the top right here so what we're going to do first is to look for a product that we can promote and add it on our call to action so i can go over to digistore 24 and here i'll just look for any product i'll go under digital uh sorry digital products i'll look for business and investment okay so i will just use this one here millionaire secrets okay i'll click on promote now i'll copy that link then i'll come back over here okay i'll paste the link right there okay so the button text will be based on that product so again let's come back over here what does it say so this is a millionaire secrets all right so i can just say okay i'll just say learn millionaire secrets all right now as you can see it appears at the top right over here so learn millionaire secrets okay i'll just click on continue now we are done with branding next we have controls here you can do things like share you can share this if you highlight this you can get more details so it says you can restrict access to share option in the menu 
below your flipbook okay but viewers can still copy the link in the browser tab and share if they'd like okay so that is something interesting i'll just leave it on next we have print okay if you want to enable print if you want to enable them to print you can go ahead and enable that if you want to enable them to download you can go ahead and enable as you can see if you click on this the buttons appear over here and as you can see the download button disappeared so if you enable this it brings back the download button same thing with print okay it disappears the print but when you enable this the print is going to come back okay uh, same thing with the text selection i think you just leave this because maybe they might need to highlight a text so you can just enable that you also have thumbnails notes sound some of these are just pretty straightforward i don't really need to go through them uh, they're not really that relevant but this is just small features that you can add sound effects is also there okay if you want to enable that sound effects the sound effects for flipping the book you can go ahead and enable it next you also have full screen you want to enable this full screen because as you can see if you go back here to my website you'll have this feature here so if they want as you can see they can't really read it from here but if they click on this it's going to expand the screen and they will be able to read it from there okay so that is a, that is something that you also want to enable next you have zoom okay you also want to enable zoom just in case you don't want to enable so these are all the tools that are featured here so i recommend you just leave them on just leave them here you don't really need to change them but if there's something that you want to change you can go ahead and disable from there all right there's also the search and i think that's about it with the controls next you have privacy so some of these features are in the paid plan you can actually upgrade if you want to enable or disable this whereby anyone can actually find and view online you can go ahead and also you have that feature to disable and enable that you can also share a link okay this one is just pretty straightforward you have passwords you can have password uh, protected embed you have private so these are basically the security features okay you can have it private you can have it protected embed you can have it password enabled okay so that's about it for the privacy next you have the lead capture on if you click on this and you click on enable as you can see this appears here so this will allow users to enter their, their email okay so this is also another lead capture form they have their own lead capture form or email opt-in where you can uh, collect email addresses and send them newsletters send them offers freebies and things like that now this can work well if you have a website or if you're just promoting this ebook on social media so it's best if you have this enabled so just leave it at that and this will enable them to read the ebook once they enter and submit their email okay so i'll just leave that on on and as you can see you can also add another field so maybe if you want to add another field for name as you can see this is just email so if you want to add a field for a name or even a phone number you can go ahead and also add that there okay you also have the option to delete all right so this is the caption for the email opt-in so enter your email to read this ebook okay you can also go ahead and change it to say something else next you have allow to skip okay so if you disable this it's going to remove the skip button okay so what that does is that they cannot skip this section here they'll have to enter their email okay so i guess you can just leave that on it depends on how you want it really uh, personally for me i would just i would just disable it so they don't really have to they're not forced to enter their email address there okay uh, next we have table of contents now you can also add table of contents if you want you can add your table of contents so you can start with the heading so this is basically going to be what is contained already on your ebook so you just go ahead and follow what's on your ebook like here here we just have the title we have the introduction so you can add here introduction if you go to the following page uh it's going to say three reasons why you should start an online business that is going to be a heading two or a heading three so that is how it works so for me i'll just disable this okay i won't add a table of content i'll just leave it just like that and lastly we have settings over here so if you scroll down further here you have things like accessibility so if you hover over this it says add an accessible pdf version of your flipbook so people with disabilities can download and read it on a screen reader okay so that's interesting that they have this feature you can leave it on and off next you have page turn mode okay if we click on this they actually have two styles of turning so if we click on slide it's going to look like this so if they flip it's more of like a slide show now that will make this feature irrelevant so i guess we'll just have to we'll just leave it at a uh, flip okay next you have book layout so if you wanted to show 
two books okay it just makes sense having it two books why would you want to change it to anything else because if you leave it at one page and if you flip the book the other page disappears okay but i guess it indicates that the other page has been folded so it's like you're holding the book and you're folding it and uh reading just the front part okay but i don't like that so i'll just leave it at two pages next we have shadow death okay if you click on this you have normal there is light and there is deep now that doesn't really show much because you can't really tell it's supposed to be like the shadow uh, outline of the book but it doesn't really show much here so i'll just leave it at normal uh, next you have page numeration offset okay if we add these numbers what that does is for example if you leave it at five it's going to jump to the next five pages okay it's going to jump five pages and go to the next page okay so i don't think that's really necessary just leave it normal okay here yeah, next we have the in page media navigation okay now if you highlight over this it says by default people will view all your pop-up images and galleries within a page spread in a single flow okay so if you have images here they're going to be able to see them here but if you want to disable you can just go ahead and click that okay next you have fixed zoom mode there is hard cover there is book thickness some of these are just for you to play around with so i'm not really going to go into detail but as you can see down here let me just close this down here as you can see you can also add things like add videos okay so if you click on this it's going to take you to a new page where you can see more features you can add a video link image gallery inline image pop-up images animated gifs and forms and quizzes okay so if you go over to videos okay here you can actually paste a link so the platforms they support is youtube vimeo and wistia so for me i'll just get a link from my youtube channel so i'll go over to my channel and just get this link for example i come back over here i paste it here and click on confirm okay so this is going to appear here so i can have my video here i can stretch it okay like this or i can just have it somewhere in the middle there okay and then on your right hand side over here you have some settings you can have it in line you can have it autoplay now i recommend you leave it at autoplay this is going to play the moment they open this page okay next you have links now for links you can also go ahead and do that but we've also added a link we previously added a link at the top right over here which is going to appear at the top right but you can also go ahead and add a link so to add a link you can just click on that now the links are kind of different it doesn't really look like a normal link as you can see it shows you this green bar over here okay so this is where you're supposed to add your link okay so on your right hand side over here is where you can enter the url of the link that you want to enter maybe it's a pro a product that you're promoting an affiliate product maybe if it's a website so i'll go ahead and get this link over here i'll copy this i come back over here and i just paste that link over there so now i can move this around now the button that's going to be linked will be this one here okay the one that i'm covering that will be linked okay so i can make this smaller just like this okay it's not really straightforward but this is how their links work okay so once you're done with that you can just click on finish and there we go so we are done with our ebook okay now this video played immediately so the moment they open this selling ebooks is one of the most profitable business it's going to start playing automatically because we set it on autoplay so once you are done you will just click on finish here and here is where you'll have your ebook once again so if you want to share the link if you want to get the link to your ebook you can click on share over here and you'll copy the link so this one you can share it on all your social media platforms okay next you have the embed so the embed is actually a code okay you can copy this code and embed it on your website similar to what i did over here okay so this is a pretty interactive way that you can use to get more views to your ebook you can even drive more traffic to your website just using this very interactive flipbook style of ebook so that's about it for this video if you want to learn more on how to make money with an ebook check out some of these videos that i show here on the screen but that's it for this one thanks for watching see you on the next one